Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shadavia and this is Oh She Budgets, where we talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. So if you enjoy budgeting content like budget with me, cash stuff things, savings challenges, even paying off debt, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Now, I used to upload every Tuesday and Thursday, but I am going to be switching up my upload schedule just a little bit. Um, but you can still expect two uploads per week from me. Now, by the title of today's video, you can see that I am going to be cash stuffing some of my sinking funds today. And so if you're new to the budgeting community or you don't know what sinking funds are, they are, you know, just some savings that you are planning for in the future. So if you have an upcoming wedding that you want to save for, um, that could be a sinking fund for you. If you're looking for a new house, um, anything that you have time to actually put money aside for before you actually need to spend that money. Um, so I have a few sinking funds, a total of six that I'm going to be cashed up in today, but let's go ahead and get straight into the cash count and then we can start stuffing these uh, sinking funds. So today we are going to be um, cashed up in a total of 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 155, 160, 165, 170, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So $175 that we are going to be cashed up in into our sinking funds today. And these funds are actually um, what I put aside in my paycheck that I can put towards some of these financial goals. So, uh oh. Okay, yeah, I brought my pen. I thought I left my pen. So when I do my sinking funds update, I do also have a tracker um, that I just like to keep track of how much money is going in and out and where I'm spending the money um, as well. So the first one I have is my vacation envelope. And so I am um, planning an upcoming vacation for December for my family and I. Um, and so I've already paid for it with my credit card. And so I'm just saving the money to actually pay the, that card back off. Um, and so, you know, there's going to be additional items that we need to purchase or like food and gas to actually get us there. So that is what this vacation envelope is taking care of. Any upcoming trips or the necessities or things we want to buy for that trip. So for a vacay for this um, go around, we are giving it $30. And let's just go ahead and make that a 20 and a 10. And the trip, the the actual cabin that um, we booked was, I always forget how much we actually paid for. So I have to go back. Um, it wasn't much. Um, we're going to be gone for three days. So that's exciting. And it's around the holidays too. So I wanted to do more experiences this year opposed to... Um, just buying extra stuff that we don't really need. So um, today is, what is today's day? I'm not sure. Oh, today is the 11th. So today the 11th, we put an additional $30. So now our vacation envelope has $165. Uh, and I probably should just go back and double check to see how much I actually need to save. But like I said, that's not until a few more months. So we still have plenty of time to put money aside for that vacation. The next sinking fund that I actually have is my car maintenance. Um, and as you guys can see, I use this envelope for things like inspections, car registrations. Um, I even went to Dollar Tree one time to get some cleaning products for my car and then also went to the car wash as well. So for this um, time, I am giving car maintenance $15. And so 9.11, and then we're gonna add $15 into that. And that's gonna bring us now to $20 for our car maintenance. I did um, mention in the past getting my car detailed. So that is something that I'm also saving some funds for so that I can actually get my car detailed. Cause I bought my car about 
actually one year ago so i've got it for my birthday last year and i have yet to have it detailed like other than when i first got it but now you guys know if you have kids then you know how um, terrorizing they can be to your car sometimes and so it would be nice to just get my car detailed um at least once you know and then maybe i'll put it into my rotation to make it a regular thing um, but we'll see when that time comes. So the next one I have is um, in my sink and fun binder is my date night envelope. And this is for me and my husband to go out, um, you know, do something nice, um, continue to date each other while we still have, you know, our kiddos and life and job and work and things like that. So that's why I put money aside um, in here for that. So this time I am putting um, $20 in it for us. We don't have any date night plans yet. Um, but when, when we do decide to go out and my husband decides that he's not going to pay, then I can um, pick up the tab and actually use this envelope for that. But for right now, since I did put another $20 in there, that is going to bring our date night envelope to $120. If you guys, you know, do regular date nights as well, let me know in the comments, you know, do you guys set it like once a month, twice a month? Like, how do you guys set your uh, date night schedule? Because I feel like if you're a parent, especially, and you work, um, you know, sometimes it can be a little hard. Um, so you actually have to schedule it. And I'm, I try to plan a lot of things. So I'm just like, okay, should we be going monthly? Should we do it every two weeks? Um, so let me know in the comments how you guys do your date night as well. Moving right along to our next sink and fun uh, envelope is going to be our, what is this? This is our kids envelope. Um, so last time I stuffed these, I put in $30 for the kiddos. And surprisingly enough, they haven't asked me for any money for anything. So they still have their $30 um, in this envelope. And this is just for the small items, not anything too big. But if they want to buy something at the store or they're having something at school and they want to take some money or they want to buy, you know, extra snacks or something like that at school, this is what this um, envelope is actually for. So for this stuffing, we are giving kids another $30. And that is because I do have three kiddos. And so um, I just like to make it uniform across the board. So now that puts our kids envelope at $60. And that means that as of right now, they have about $20 a piece um, in this envelope that, you know, if they wanted to spend funds Granted, if they needed more than the $20, the envelope is still for them as a whole. But that's kind of how I process it in my brain. So if my daughter asked me for $5 and my son asked me for $10 or however, then I'm going to be like, okay, well, you know, next time they ask, they may have to wait because they've already exceeded what I kind of put in there for them. So um, it just depends, again, what they're asking for, what they're needing, and if it's something that, you know, they can wait on. So that's our kid envelope. And you guys, I think I'm over here talking and I didn't even put money. I didn't even put money into any of these envelopes. Okay, so let's go back here to our car maintenance. Oh my gosh, y'all don't clown me in the comments because I'm just talking and I'm just like, wait a minute, something doesn't look right. All right, so that's $15 for our car maintenance envelope um for our date night what do we say twenty dollars yeah twenty dollars for date night um let's do this yeah let's do the 20 for date night and again we should have about 120 in here so 50 70 80 90 100 10 15 16 17 18 19 20 yeah 120 um that we have in here so there we go. And then the kiddos got $30. So a 20 and a 10, which now takes their envelope up to $60. Where are we at? Okay, there we are. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 
$56.57, so $60 for the kiddos. And now we can officially move on to our next sink and fun envelope. Y'all, sometimes I talk so much that, you know, I have a hard time multitasking. And uh, you guys got to witness that just now. <laughs> All right. So the next sink and fun that I have is um, my holiday. So I'm saving money up for the upcoming holidays. If you guys watched my last video or my budget with me, um, then you saw that, you know, I am going to be cooking this Thanksgiving. And so I am doing a Thanksgiving savings challenge. Um, but I like to put money aside for, you know, holidays, holidays that my family and I like to celebrate because we all know how expensive it can get around the holiday times. And so you really, all you have to do is just put a little money aside starting now. And then when that holiday does come up, you'll already have those funds and it's not like you have to charge it to your credit card or anything like that because you've already been prepared for that. So for this um, paycheck, I'm sorry, for this stuffing, I am actually only putting it in $5. And that is because I have not went to the bank as of yet to, um, I haven't went to the bank to actually get my cash app from my paycheck. And so for my paycheck, I actually took out, um, I'm actually going to be taking out an additional $75 to go towards my Thanksgiving savings challenge. So then that's going to boost this up a little bit as well. And then, um, again, go ahead and get a jump start on, you know, saving for that Thanksgiving holiday. I think my savings goal for Thanksgiving is 150 between 150 and 200 um that's what kind of where i spent last year and so you know just putting a little bit aside here and there um is definitely going to help considering the fact that i still have a full almost two months for that but i do want to get ahead of that um because shopping last year was not fun at all especially waiting to the last minute to try to actually um to try to you know find the things that you need Alrighty, so the last one um, that I have in my second funds binder is my birthday envelope. And so it currently has $115 in there. And I'm going to put the remaining of this actually in there. Um, and this is going to take care of, this took care of my birthday. Um, and also takes care of um, family's birthday, friends' birthdays. Like if I want to buy a gift or things like that then i'll have this money set aside for that um i don't like to really go to parties without you know bringing a gift um so even if it's like five dollars or a card or something like that i just really i just don't like to show up empty-handed that's just my personal preference um some people say you know your presence is enough but at least like five dollars a card and some cash like you can never go wrong with that so today we are putting a total of 50 60 65 70 75 dollars into my birthday envelope and that is going to take us up let's see well let's do this okay so plus 75 and i do have to go back um i'll have to go back in here and actually withdraw the money that i spent for my um actually birthday which is for my pedicure that I got and my massage. Um, I'm so glad that I decided to do something for my birthday. It was 10 out of 10 for sure. Um, so let's see, 175, 185, 190? Yeah, I did that math in my head. So 190 that I now have, um, which is probably gonna leave me with like, nothing after i go back and and run those numbers again <laughs> that i spent for my birthday but again i had the money to set aside for it so it's not as bad uh let's go here let me just double check and make sure i do it actually have 190 in here. one 150 160 uh-oh, 170, 175, 180, 185, 190. Yeah. So 190 that I have into my birthday envelope. Cool, cool. 
all right so now we i've updated all of my trackers and uh put some additional funds into my sinking funds let me know in the comments how many sinking funds you actually have as well and again uh thank you guys so much for watching as always if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye